All right, today is day five of the temporary mesh on bioreactors. Uh, I just had to flip it around. Now, I would have to say that this one, I just flip, is leaking. Um, so let me turn all of this. So yes, if this one is leaking. And the issue I'm having with this one is basically the same with this one. What? where I need to open the, um, how do you call it? I need to make the opening bigger because you can see the it doesn't drain, it takes a while to drain. So because of that, the filter is getting wet and then it is leaking from there. So that that's what it's leaking from. And that's on the Darling Tony, which I was a little surprised because it is very, it's fully wet. So hopefully it doesn't get contaminated. I'm pretty sure it's leaking from the filter. Yeah, the filter is fully soaked. So that is what it's leaking from. I hope there is nothing gets contaminated to there. So that's what it is. The plants still look pretty good. Um, I don't know if they have grown anything or not yet. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, way too early to tell. All right, well, let's turn this back around. See, it is this still liquid is still there. So it is my own fault where I need to, I pretty much fully close them. So I need to open them and then fix that. Actually, you know what? Let me do, do this right now. Just one second. All right, so I made the um, opening from this one way bigger. Now, what I have to do is that I just realized that they were backwards. So apparently, seems like uh, you need to put this on the right way, otherwise you may get some leakage uh, from the filter. Um, so the plans was on the on the wrong place. Um, meaning, I don't know how you can call it like the right place, but the way that the adjuster is is on this side so basically is the, the way that has the the head of the screw i would say that's the the top and it was backwards you can see all the other ones i place the the screw the head of the screw on the top so i guess that's the right way to do it um because when i would try to adjust the um the opening uh when it was on the other side i realized that it was on the on the other side so hopefully it doesn't leak anymore it's still fairly wet the filter is completely soaked um hopefully it doesn't get clogged either i mean i'm more afraid about contamination at this point um actually i wouldn't be surprised if if, if it gets contaminated the way i just handle it um if it gets contaminated i don't really care it's darling tony i have thousands of darling tony in tissue in tissue culture i have so much of that um, for this one, I just had to make the opening bigger. I don't want to make it that big. I mean, it's fairly big because it has a small plant in there. I don't want it to fall on the bottom. 
uh, jar. But we'll see. Hopefully it stays, stays there. And then hopefully you can, whenever the plants grow, they're going to make a big clump anyways. So that should be fine for that one. And the other ones that are okay, they don't, they don't seem to, like I can move it, all the liquid goes. I mean, and then I can move it back, and then all the, the media goes back. So these two, they have no issues. That's, that was the cephalotus, is the, uh, the Nepenthes truncata. So you just turn it, no problem. Turn it back, no problem. So, all right, I will see you for today. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these Tissue Culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.